Okay, this is video 11 um, in the pair uh, PHP video tutorial series. And now we're focused on um, databases, um, actually dealing with the structures data grid. Uh, and what we're going to uh, do in this video, as far as the structures data grid, is demonstrate how to install a database using your command, command line tool um, using this uh, piece of software right here. Uh, but first, let's, let me uh, tell you what we're going to be ending up doing in totality in this uh, new series for the, for the structured data grid. We're going to be looking at all kinds of projects that we can build with the structured data grid. And the first one is this uh, link tables uh, with the structures data grid. This is the demonstration. We're going to build this. Um, it's telling you what we need. Uh, we need the HTML render table, the structures data grid, the M uh, NDB2 driver, uh, the ND NDB2 uh, package, uh, the MySQL driver, um, and uh, PHP um, at least uh, greater than or equal to 1.50. So that's the the minimum version version that we need. Um, so uh, this it you know tells us that uh, this um, is using the MySQL world database sample. So what we have to do is go get that sample from MySQL. And MySQL this is the link to MySQL uh, right here that you can click on to get their sample databases. They talk about uh, MySQL documentation and all that. And the sample database, the world database, is right here. Um, it's the world database, all versions. Um, we can get the zip version right here. So let's go ahead and download that. Here's some other databases that you can use to sample databases that you can use. If you're a .NET developer, you know about the AdventureWorks and the Northwind databases. Same thing with uh, MySQL. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and save this to the WAMP folder and we want to go into bin and we want to go into MySQL we want to go into bin and we want to go ahead and save that so that's saved we can clear that and let's open let's go to the bin uh, part of the database and uh, here's the zip file so let's go ahead and unzip that. Let's extract it to this same folder right here. And we can go ahead after that and we can de delete this zip file. And so we got my we got world.sql. It's a SQL file right there stored in our uh, bin directory. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and copy the directory go to our command prompt and type in cd space paste the directory in then what we want to do is we want to look at our database right here this is our uh, PHP my, ad, my admin page right we have two databases right here the MySQL and the uh, uh, information schema so we're going to add the world database to this so what we got to do is we have some instructions here. MySQL shows you how to set up databases through the command prompt. So you know you got to make sure that the directory is in the same directory as your MySQL program. So it's the same. It's the in that bin program. So what we have to do is go ahead and copy this piece of code right here, just like the uh, structured data bit grid um, code MySQL dash u root dash p type that in it asks you to enter a password and as you know that um, there's no password for the particular MySQL PHP admin that I'm using but if you've created a password you can enter it now create return and you got the MySQL command so if you want to know what uh, what the commands are just type help and here are all the commands um, also if you want to know uh, if you want to clear a, a current input statement, just type C. Um, so let's go back to the tutorial. And what we want to do is create a database. So just type in a SQL statement or copy this SQL statement right here. Create database called world. 
and it says query okay one row affected it took two sec less than point zero two seconds to do that then we want to go ahead and change change it to let let this uh, uh, let uh, the SQL know that I will let the um, the program know that we're gonna input some uh, data into here so we're gonna use a use statement and it says database changed then we want to go ahead and say the source is coming from world.sql and remember world.sql has to be in the same folder as this right here this uh, MySQL application that you're running right now so we go ahead and copy world source.world.sql paste it into command prompt and as you can see it's loading up the database see all those query statements now just think about you know if you there of course you know you can go and do it the PHP my admin and load it through that way but I'm showing you this because you know I mean it's always good to learn something new <laughs> so I know there are some of you out there that probably didn't know that you can load it via the command line but this is how you can do it so we can go back okay we're done loading the database so what we can do is we can see we can go ahead and do some queries so let's do a query of show tables like they have here in the example so copy go back to the command prompt and here are the three tables um, city country country language so uh, let's go to our back to our PHP my admin refresh it and as you can see there is the world database and here here are all the uh, tables that are in it so let's see you got the city uh, table and as you can see you got Kabul Afghanistan which is the country code uh, Kabul which is a district you got the population of uh, 1.78 million you got uh, Kandahar Afghanistan uh, you got three major series uh, cities if we go to country you get even more uh, information you uh, government government form you got they even have they're so old right now they even have Muhammad or Omar who of the Taliban still still as the leader of Afghanistan so this is an old database uh, so let's go back to um, let's just let's use a, a SQL statement called describe company uh, country so if we click here paste okay so this is showing you all the fields within that table you got the country code name the continent the region surface area um, uh, the the year that it was independent the population and then you got the data types integer varchar um, you got you know if if they if the these uh, uh fields need to be uh filled you got the primary keys um so you got all this and you know if we can do the same thing describe city and then you got the id and name country code district population describe country language same thing so you're seeing that you can write SQL statements once you're in the MySQL program in your command prompt you can input you can delete you can do all of that using your command prompt as long as you know SQL which is not a, a hard uh, a hard language to learn so I hope that you like this video and in the next video we're gonna be starting on working on this particular project here of uh, linking tables with the structures data grid thank you and I hope you enjoyed it